Hello, my name is George and in today's video I'll be doing a quick tutorial on how to disable the Valorant Vanguard anti-cheat system as they have for a little bit now uh, allowed uh, or given you the ability to uh, go ahead and disable that whenever you're not running the game, say for example, or you just don't want it running in your background consuming resources, uh, period. So uh, this will be an extremely, extremely short tutorial because there's really just one step to it. Um, and uh, let's get on with it. So first things first, um, you'll already have uh, Valorant installed on your PC, and then you will notice if you go to your taskbar, and let me get the magnifier out right here. So you'll see in the bottom right, in your taskbar here, uh, this little symbol and it says riot vanguard in it okay or on it and right here you can go ahead and right click and then it says like let's say exit vanguard um, and it also says hide tray and then under more it says uninstall vanguard now if you uninstall vanguard it's not gonna let you play uh, Valorant so you know, basically the only thing you can really do is click on the exit vanguard uh, button right here so once you have exited Vanguard um, it'll give you the option to go ahead and uh, this will turn off of riot Vanguard games that depends on its functionality will stop working until you restart your computer do you want to continue and you can choose to click yes in which case you'll restart your computer and uh, you will not be able to uh, play Valorant again until it enables and restart your computer again so it's kind of like a it's a pain in the ass thing but like if you want to free up those system resources that are being taken up by uh, Vanguard anti-cheat uh, this uh, Valorant itself then you can go ahead and you have the option now to go ahead and disable it so like I said uh, you just go in here click on little uh, arrow button right here right click and then click on exit Vanguard and then when you click yes it'll restart your PC and then once you boot it up it won't be running in your background processes anymore um, as I said earlier just and a huge asterisk you will not be able to play valorant without the vanguard anti-cheat running so just be careful you're gonna have to re-enable it and it'll give you a prompt to restart your pc if you'd like to play it again so um yeah i get that it's kind of a pain in the ass but we have to do what we have to do to keep the cheaters off this game as much as i don't like this feature and this piece of uh, anti-cheat software because of the kinds of uh, corporations in certain parts of the the world that are affiliated with so yeah just uh just be sure yeah it's very easy to do i mean there's really nothing more to explain other than that um yeah that's pretty much it so uh thanks for watching um i got a 24 hour stream in front of me so i'm gonna have to cut this one short i appreciate you guys all watching um please comment if you got any uh questions in the comment section below please like and subscribe on this video if you enjoyed this content and would like to see more on it um you can go ahead and watch me live uh for like the next 24 hours at uh cash meow 2 on mixer and i'll have that in the link in the description below um i'll go ahead and uh link the uh what was it valorant uh, or riot games uh link in the description below uh if that helps anyone that wants to play valorant for the first time so it'll be easily accessible there so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one bye for now